Hello everyone. This is a different view than normal because it is, well, in the evening. It's raining here in Texas and we're out here in the evening because the family's asleep and I just got home from work. I work evenings. It's interesting to work evenings at times because everyone expects you to be available during the day and you're not. But anyhow, that's beside the point. We're here to talk about being kind or kindness. I've been planning this video for a while and just haven't had time to sit down and make it. I have some other videos I need to do and I'm going to go upstairs in a little bit and make them. But this one's going to go up first. Kindness. That's being nice to people. Do we get anything from being kind to others? Um, well, first, it costs us nothing. It's an attitude. It costs you nothing to be kind to others. What do you get in return? Quite often friends, companionship, and other people will treat you in, with kindness in return. Okay? Um, prime example. I go shopping, and at the checkout counter, I say, hey, how you doing to the checkout person? Okay? Now, some talk back, some don't, just depending on who they are. But the ones that talk back are usually happy because no one ever talks to them. And by talking to them, you're relieving a little bit of the monotony and boredom of their day. What happens when things go bad is they're more helpful and they're more liable to help you resolve some sort of conflict. If you approach people, the checkout corner like, get my stuff rung up. I'm too busy for you while you're talking on the phone. Most likely, they're not going to help you when things go bad, or they're going to delay, or they're going to be angry. The same thing's true when you're at a restaurant. If the waiter, if you're kind to the waiter, you tend to get better service than when you're not. Okay, and if you're really mean to the waiter, like you constantly send your food back, you constantly talk down to them like they're your servant for life. Um, what do you think happens? I worked in a restaurant for a little bit, and the restaurant I worked in, it was just a little bit in college, spitting the food is what happened. And when you're mean to your waiters, that stuff does happen. They just look at you and they go, stir it in, spit and stir it in, no one's going to know, they're going to eat it. So, you know, being mean and angry to waiters can get you in a uh, non-tasty situation, if you gather what I'm saying. So, what about your personal relationships, your family, your friends? If you're kind to them, they're going to appreciate you more. When you're not kind, what happens? Well, if they're family, they're stuck with you, but they reach a point where they don't want to deal with you anymore. They'll send you cards on your birthday and Christmas, and that's about all. Okay? People tend to respond in kind. If you're rude, they respond rude. If you're nice, they respond nice. Just how it is. But, you know, you're rude to your family. Yes, they're stuck with you, but yes, they don't have to put up with it. So, it doesn't pay to be rude to your family or mean. It pays to be kind. Now, what happens when you're not kind? Well, if you value them, you're going to try to repair it by trying to make amends somehow, okay? There's always a way to repair a relationship. You just have to find out what, how the other person, how you upset the other person and what it takes to make it right, okay? Some people don't understand that concept. They tend to blame others for their own faults. They blame everyone but themselves for the trouble in their lives. And that's not going to be helpful, okay? If you're looking outside you and saying, you're all to blame for my life being miserable. You need to turn that around and look in the mirror. I'm speaking from personal experience. I've been there. I've been the person who was very bitter and angry with the world. And I've learned, my, I've come out of that. I've learned how not to be that way. And you'll get a lot further with sugar than you will with skunk juice. Let's just put it that way. And again, perfect example. You go to a store, 
buy something, talk to the people in there, be nice with them, they help you. Ask them how their day is, ask them how they're doing. Just that being kind is something that people don't do. I was walking out of Best Buy the other day, a little Best Buy security guy at the door. He said, bye, have a good day. And I said, same to you, have a good day. And he said, wait a minute. And I said, what? He said, no one has said that to me in a week and a half. No one even acknowledges him. I have to be, and I talked to him about it. He said, everyone just walks by. Unless they have to get something from me, they just walk by. We don't have to worry about the rain. I'm under a pretty good patio here. Okay. Yeah, it's it's coming down pretty good. It set off my security light in the back too. Probably saw it click on with the shadow. But anyhow, <clears throat> just being kind to people. The next time I saw him in the store, he came over and helped me. I didn't ask. He hunted me down when he saw me. So, what did I get out of that? Well. I got someone who wanted to help me. What did it cost me? Hey, how you doing back? Two seconds of my life made him feel better for his day. That's all it is. Be kind to people. See where it gets you. It gets you a lot further than being angry and rude does. I promise that. An awful lot further. When you're angry and rude, people want to shut you down and shut you out. Okay? Trying to think if there's anything else to add to this other than just treat everyone with respect and kindness. Okay? And try not to look at their past, their background. When you walk up to someone, you know, don't look at them and judge them. Just say, hey, have a nice day. You know, doesn't matter who they are. Try it. We're all human on the inside. We all have our own struggles. We all have our personal beliefs. We all have our personal problems. But if we treat each other with kindness, a lot of that gets better. All right, y'all. Have a good day. I said y'all. I didn't grow up in Texas, and I'm saying Texas stuff. Funny. You know, y'all have a good night. There I go again. Have a good night. I will talk to all of you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know. Bye.